Arithmetic Review, Fractions, Part 2. In this video, we're going to review how to add and subtract fractions. To add two fractions with the same denominator, you add the numerators and keep the same denominator. For example, 1 10 plus 2 tenths is going to be equal to the sum of the numerators over 10. Simplifying the numerator results in the final answer equal to 3 tenths. The same method applies when you're subtracting fractions. For example, 5 over 11 minus 8 over 11 is equal to 5 minus 8 over 11. Simplifying the numerator results in the final answer equal to negative 3 over 11. This method would also work if you're adding more than two fractions. For example, we can add the following fractions with the same denominator as follows. 1 fifth plus 2 fifths plus 3 fifths is going to be equal to the sum of each of the fractions numerator over 5. Simplifying the numerator results in the final answer equal to 6 fifths. In these three examples, each of the fractions being added had the same denominator. What if the denominator of each fraction was different? How would we add or subtract fractions with different denominators? Well, we are about to find out. To add two fractions with distinct denominators, we first need to find a common denominator. This number is going to be a common multiple of the two denominators. Preferably, the least common multiple. For example, say we want to add the following fractions. 2 thirds plus 3 fourths. In this example, notice that both fractions have different denominators. So we first want to find the least common multiple of 3 and 4. In this case, the least common multiple is 12. We now want to use the first property of fractions that we learned in the previous video and multiply each fraction by an integer so that the denominator equals this common multiple. In order to obtain 12 as the denominator on the fraction on the left, we want to multiply 3 by 4. In order to obtain an equivalent fraction, we need to do the same to the integer on the numerator. In the same manner, to obtain 12 as the denominator on the fraction on the right, we need to multiply 4 by 3. To obtain an equivalent fraction, we also need to multiply the numerator by 3. Carrying out the products and simplifying the expressions, we obtain the following equivalent fractions. Now that both fractions have a common denominator, we are free to add the numerators. Doing that, we obtain the final answer equal to 17 over 12. This method also works when subtracting fractions with different denominators. For example, to subtract the fractions 1 third minus 2 fifths, we use the common denominator 15, since this integer is the least common multiple of both 3 and 5. So we first multiply each fraction by an integer that would make the denominator equal to 15. For the left fraction, we multiply both numerator and denominator by 5. For the fraction on the right, we multiply numerator and denominator by 3. Carrying out the products, we obtain the following equivalent fractions. Now that both fractions have a common denominator, it's just a matter of subtracting the numerators. Doing that yields the final answer equal to negative 1 over 15. If for some reason you can't figure out the least common multiple, you're always free to multiply the denominators together to obtain the common denominator. And then you can multiply diagonally up to obtain the new numerators. The final step would be to add or subtract depending on what the problem is asking you to do. You can also add or subtract more than one fraction at a time. The method to accomplish this is the same. For example, say that we are carrying out the following operation. 2 thirds plus 1 fifth minus 1 half. Notice that all the denominators are different, so we need to find the least common multiple of 3, 5, and 2. In this case, the least common multiple is 30. So we go ahead and multiply the numerator and denominator by an integer so that the denominators of each fraction equals 30. For the first fraction, we multiply numerator and denominator by 10. Notice that we are multiplying by 10. 
This is also the product of the denominators of the second and third fraction. For the second fraction, we multiply by 6. Once again, notice that this is the product of the denominators of the first and third fraction. And for the last fraction, we multiply by 15, which is the product of the denominators of the first and second fraction. Carrying out the products yields the following equivalent fractions. Then it's just a matter of adding and subtracting the numerators, and keeping the same denominator. Doing that yields the final answer equal to 11 over 30. Alright, in our next video, we're going to continue reviewing operations with fractions. This time around, we will review multiplication of fractions.